TitleMatchNetwork.com. Well, uh, the referee already knows what the outcome. Uh, if there's something that needs to be done there where, uh, where one of the guys jumps up on the ring apron and draws the referee's attention while somebody is doing something behind his back, um, you, you, you have to do that. You know, that that's a real important role. I mean, you, you, you just got to know what your position is and know where you're supposed to be at a certain time. And sometimes I know one time I, I was refereeing and I had, it was Chris Jericho and somebody, but anyway, Curtis Hughes uh, was managed, was managing Chris Jericho. And there was a spot there where Curtis Hughes was supposed to jump up on the apron and draw me. He never jumped up on the apron. So, now, I'm just over here standing looking like an idiot, waiting on this idiot to jump up. He never jumps up, so I can hear him, I can hear behind me Jericho's just cussing out of, you know. Right. So, uh, you know, things like that, like that happens, you know, like with managers and stuff. You, you, you got to know, too. And with referees, they need to be able to know this business because sometimes, you know, if there's something going wrong, the referee can always correct that. Yeah. You know, hey, guys, uh, that ain't what we talked about. Right, you right. know what I mean? Uh, there's some way if if the referee's supposed to be distracted, uh, sometimes if the guy doesn't jump up, you have to work yourself over there. You know what I mean? And maybe do something like, hey, why are you trying to get up but you're walking over here? Tell him, Don't you get up, stay down or something, you know, so you can try to get to him so you can tell him, get up, jump right. up, you know? So it's, it's it's things like that. Oh, of course, yeah. You, everybody makes mistakes. I remember one time. Um, let's see when I was refereeing. Uh, I came to work for Vince, 1998, and when I came to work for Vince, I was refereeing. And um, what did I do? Something there. I can't remember. It was X Pac and somebody, or maybe Mick Foley. I can't remember what it was, but I went down. And I went for the count, and X Pac, I believe it was, he kicked out, and I kept right on counting. Big mistake. TV or house show? No, no, pay per view. Oh wow, okay. Live pay per view, and uh, I could hear the people. You effed up. You effed up. I could hear that all, and then I'm now I'm waiting to go see what I'm gonna hear once I go back through this curtain. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I did make that mistake. I think I, I had another problem one time with Christian and somebody in uh, Hawaii. Uh, I counted Christian out, one, two, three, and he didn't kick out, and I, I couldn't stop my count. And he told me, he said, well, I, he said to, to, to Jerry, I believe that's who he was, to Jerry hit him so hard till he almost knocked him out. He told me, he said, I couldn't kick out. Uh, so... I don't know whether that was my mistake or right. his mistake, but they what blamed it. They it? always blamed it on the referee. Yeah, I was going to ask you what, what happens in that case if somebody gets, you know. Well, uh, you have to cover it some kind of way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Basically, if the referee screws up like that, whoever the ring announcer is, I'm sure that they'll, somebody, the the, uh, the agent, whoever will smarten up the ring announcer to explain to the people what really went on. But the thing about that, it, it, the one with Kristen, it wasn't TV, it was just a live oh, event. Sure. Yeah. TitleMatchNetwork.com